I have got the craziest schedule. This is gonna be my little travel vlog from round of 16. <laughs> I'm on the way to Moscow airport. I'm flying to Kazan and then coming back to Moscow, going to Samara, back to Moscow again. Let's do this. Thing is with Russian airport is that, is that you have to queue through security to get through to check in. Just have a look at this. I'm with Ezekiel, of Argentina fan. You excited, you excited for the game, man? Yeah, sure. Argentina gonna win? Well, we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so sunny here in Kazan so hopefully that will reflect tomorrow for Argentina France super excited now just checked into my hotel room the air conditioning is broke We've got these two guys trying to find out the situation this could be quite comical taking a nice summer stroll in Kazan uh, my internet doesn't work and my plugs are too high a voltage so I just nearly electrocute myself the highlight of this uh, last 16 of this World Cup has to be Kylian Mbappé and that incredible run. They say he ran at 37 kilometers per hour on that run. Wow, just wow, Kylian Mbappé. If someone had said to me before the World Cup, you'll be in Kazan Airport after the first game, the first round of round of 16, at half past 12 at night after watching Argentina versus France. 4-3 to France, you're gonna watch one of the best games of the World Cup potentially ever, and you'll be eating a chocolate ice cream. So I got a pretty good deal. So it is 10 past four in the morning. Sun is rising. Russia, Spain tomorrow. Brother 16, bashing it. The best was when Russia, I mean, Russia, Russia upset Spain on penalties and the loose Nikki went crazy. Wow, this round of 16 has been absolutely incredible. Russia versus Spain. Who would have ever said that Russia were going to beat Spain? I've just been in Moscow Fun Park. I'm absolutely drenched, but the fun celebrations have been insane. Today is Mexico versus Brazil. I'm really looking forward to seeing the Mexicans, Brazilians. They really know I want to win. So it's 2.15 in the morning, just got to the airport, and as you can see, it's so busy here. But Moscow is 24 hours non-stop World Cup fever. Just arrived in Samara, it's quarter past seven. It is gonna be one hell of a game. Brazil, Mexico in Samara. Here we go. It's quarter past 10 at night, it's been a long day and I'm in the only restaurant in Samara Airport full of Brazil fans. But yeah, good day. Shame about the Mexico fans having to go home, but there's always going to be one of them. Belgium, Japan is on. Belgium have equalised and it's now two each with about five minutes to go, so they're going to be hoping that Japan can sneak this one for an easier tie. One of my highlights of the last 16 was definitely Belgium against Japan because it was just so unexpected. Japan going two goals up against the favourites, one of the tournament favourites. Um, heartbreaking for Japan though, stoppage time winner. NASA Chadley. Belgium have just scored and the Brazil fans are not happy at all. They know that that's their next opponent. Look at this, hands on the heads. They're not, not happy at all. 26 hours ago, I was awake for Brazil versus Mexico. I am now back in my hotel room. It's 3 a.m. It is England, Colombia at nine o'clock tonight so I need to get some sleep because it is going to be one big game. Uh, obviously England win a penalty shooter that's a major highlight but for me the big one for me was Edison Cavani's goal his second goal against Portugal for Uruguay in Sochi. I was sat right behind the angle of the ball and it, you could see how he opened his body and curled it past the goalkeeper. Fantastic goal, great goal I just hope he's fit for the quarter final against France. What a round of 16. What a few days. It's not over yet though, on to the quarterfinals.